Or as crazy as how yesterday was, I don't know how I'm functioning. I feel, I feel great. Welcome back to your daily dose, and um, it's our last day here in New Orleans. Yeah. If you come to Mardi Gras, prepare to uh, get like four to six hours of sleep each night. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wear this to the airport. C can I? <laughs> I love Mardi Gras. Don't really know what we're doing yet today. All I know it's a cold day out. I feel like I'm gonna hit a brick wall here very soon. It's been uh, quite the time, for uh, for sure. Got my green and yellow beads for the Packers. Going to get some breakfast. Kristen is beat. Endymion won. Endymion did her in. <laughs> zero. Nola beans. Hopefully they're open. Oh my gosh, they're closed. Why are they closed? It's Sunday. I'm so hungry I could probably uh, kill a bear right now. Apparently everybody's hungover this morning. They definitely went to Endymion. <laughs> oh, we're doing. We finally found a place that wasn't closed. Wow. It's really cold out. It's been cold these past couple of days, but we just ordered our food. Should be coming soon. Um, speaking of the next coming days, remember on the 4th, we we're gonna be in Fort Lauderdale on the Royal Caribbean Wonder of the Seas. But I do have a question for you, for you guys. Should I go live on the boarding day? I don't really know, I usually do, and it's a new ship, so I might go live. But let me know your guys' thoughts down below if we should go live, because um, I kind of want to. No problem. Rock. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, that's it. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. 30 minutes later, finally have our food. I'm so hungry. We're on our way to uh, do some touristy things before we catch our flight tonight. Where are we headed? We're going to Jackson Square. Jackson Square, and Jackson Square has a significance to uh, Tiana from uh, The Princess and the Frog. Driving through cities, especially uh, New Orleans, is really fascinating. This is the main drag. What street is this? Canal. Oh, this is Canal Street. Okay. Bourbon's just to the left, where there's still a lot of people partying. To say the least, the traffic is sort of kind of insane. Sort of kind of crazy. Can't wait to see New York City. This day is a mess, and... We both are kind of over it. There's just so many people. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like over today. Mardi Gras is ridiculous. We should have Ubered is what we should have done. Today is honestly just one of one of those days. Sort of kind of felt like it was going to be like this. Um, we just got really delayed on starting the day because um, Chris's boyfriend had to leave. So we're kind of just walking around. I don't really know where, but I can totally see why a lot of people leave um, New Orleans when Mardi Gras is here because there's so many people. We were driving around downtown for about a good hour and Chris and I were just like so both, both over it and drained. I mean, it is beautiful though. It's like some big park, Storyland, the botanical gardens are over here. Uh, mini putt-putt or something is over here. We're gonna play uh, some mini golf, some mini golf. The action of the day. You went purple, right? I actually kind of went white. Like a big golf ball color. You can see that? It's called City Putt. City Putt Putt. Putt Putt Putt. There's even people here. Everyone is everywhere. We're going to have to come back again because I really want to go to the World to War II Museum for a second time. We've got two courses. We're gonna do this one because it looks less crowded. That one's pretty crowded. Watch this be a hole in one. Too hard. That was pretty good. All right, what you got? Let's see it. 
Ooh. Aubrey, Aubrey, come here. Ooh, you're in trouble. Um, yesterday, well, Friday and Saturday were kind of our party days. We're just tired. We're really tired. At least I am. I can't see it for Kristen. I'm pretty tired, too. It's something else. I just can't believe how many people were there. <laughs> we're getting her dancing and while well, we couldn't do it today. I still got something It's the form for me. Ooh, trouble. Oh. You did literally worse than I did. <laughs> I swear I just got a hole in one, but we didn't record it. This is creepy. This is really creepy. On a scale of one to 10, how tired are you? 11. <laughs> I'm a 20. Our flight soon. We're gonna go to Cafe Du Monde one more time, get some beignets and say, peace out New Orleans. Everywhere you go in New Orleans, you have to show your vaccination card or a negative COVID test within 72 hours for entry. What? He's checking right here for vaccination cards. It's like Chicago when we're just there. Kind of weird. FYI, guys, they are hiring. Scan this and you shall work here. All right. That is us. Thank you, thank you. It's like the kiss goodbye to New Orleans here. These things are so good. I don't understand. Like the scenery in the movie. The this, scenery in the movie is yeah. this park has inspired Princess and the Frog? Yep. Hmm. How fascinating. Disney is everywhere. We've got like some big geese over there. Some goose. Yeah, are those geese? Those aren't geese. geese. No, are I they think geese? they're ducks. Some big ducks because geese are where I'm from. This day turned out to be a chill day instead of like a hectic downtown day. Yeah. It's honestly... After last night, probably not a bad thing. <laughs> Guys, this swan is ginormous. Doesn't look big on camera, but this is a huge swan. Wow, a swan in the wild. Swans are some, whoa, almost fell there. Some big birds. Kind of terrifying. I don't like birds. Yeah, I'd say at least 60 pounds. Thing's huge. I mean, yeah. Before we part ways here, um, Kristen, she's actually going to be a doctor soon. I am. So in May, I graduate with my DPT, which is Doctor of Physical Therapy. So it's pretty awesome, Doctor Kristen. Cool. Yeah. Doctor Kristen. Almost there. So, um, guys, give her a big congratulations. That's huge. Um, when we were on the CP together, she didn't really know what she wanted to do with her life, and here she is, almost a doctor. Yeah. Almost a doctor. Pretty exciting. And she's been helping me with my ankle, so I, like, we're we're strengthening yeah. it right now. So make sure he does his exercises <laughs> back in Orlando. Yep. All right, my friend. Thanks for letting me come. Thanks for coming in. Of course. Come it's back great. anytime. <laughs> anytime. Anytime. <sighs> to say the least, today has kind of just been like an unexpecting day, and I'm like all Mardi Gras out. I am all Mardi Gras out. It's been it's been fun, but um, very unexpected today. We were supposed to do so much, but like there's just so many people, we really couldn't. It's kind of unfortunate, but you know, we can just come back next year or come back another time and go to the World War II Museum, do other things as well. But, you know, I think you guys will understand. It was just like not in the cards today. And we didn't really, really want to push it because we were so exhausted and tired. Um, we were at the Louis, uh, Louis Armstrong Airport and it's brand new. Definitely without doubt though, this is one of the most beautiful like, uh, airports I've been at. Look at this, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I wish I had a skateboard. I could just like zoom around on this. Oh wow. You can actually see how backed up TSA is and we have no worries. No worries. This is super nice. Holy cow. 
it doesn't really seem like a uh, busy airport because I think this is like the only TSA. I could be wrong. As far as our next journeys go, we're obviously headed back to Orlando for a couple days because then our uh, cruise begins out of Fort Lauderdale. So we'll be in Orlando for a couple days and then we're flying, I believe, a day before, I think on the 3rd to Fort Lauderdale, me and Jojo. At least that's the plan as it stands right now. And then um, on the 4th, we're on Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas for seven whole days. I hope you guys enjoyed the Mardi Gras because uh, I sure did, but I'm I'm so over it. Like it's cool, like it's cool, but I think it's just because I had no sleep and I really didn't feel like drinking today. Just wanted to do something chillax, but everybody was just downtown. It was it was nuts. We drove around downtown for about an hour and did absolutely nothing because we couldn't find parking. Parking did not exist. We probably should have Ubered. Hopefully I can go through TSA with this. We'll find out. As far as the food goes, um, if you guys come here, get the king cake. King cake is absolutely delicious. The cream cheese, there's also different kinds, but I heard the cream cheese is by far the best. And I think I ate a whole cake by myself. There's nobody here. Everybody must still be partying downtown on Bourbon Street. Oh, that's another thing. We didn't even get to go to Bourbon Street besides like the first day. Mardi Gras Mambo, Mambo, Mambo. That song's gonna be stuck in my head forever. Southwest, we've got two hours to wait. Wow, they really do have these everywhere. We could have just ate it at the airport today. Guys, I'm so tempted to buy one of these and fly home with it. It's so darn good. Ugh. $35 for it, by the way. This airport's just really long, like super long. I've made it kind of to the end. Nobody's over here. We've kind of got this whole section to ourselves, which is perfect because I wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit. As far as Mardi Gras goes in as like a whole, I really did enjoy my time, especially at the Superdome. That was incredible, absolutely incredible. Um, but today, you know, it was just like a, a big like, just because it was just, it was nuts and everything just wasn't in the cards, but Mardi Gras for sure. If you guys are thinking about it, you have to experience it. It's just something else. It's the biggest party in America. It is absolutely insane. Something like I've never experienced before. It felt like a college party times 5,000. And like the, really the parades and like the beads are just like an activity because the whole activity is just getting getting um, intoxicated. Definitely something on your bucket list. And a lot of things, people want to come for Fat Tuesday, which is, you know, coming up, but the real fun happens before that. So that's why I actually flew in this weekend for extravaganza and everything. So I had a lot of fun, but it ended on a flat note with so many people today. And we're just like, okay, scratch it. We're not even going to get out of the car. To say the least, I'm very bored. I am though happy, I kind of have this whole airport to myself. Where is everybody? Hello? Hello? <laughs> this is us. Oh, just kidding, we're not flying spirit. Oh my gosh, that would have been. This is us. 8.40. Good thing, on time. What time is it now? It's 6.52. We've, uh... Got a lot of time to waste. Never seen a wing of an airport just completely empty. Since this airport is new, they do have a lot. A USB, they have USB and uh, power adapters everywhere on like every seat. I feel like exploring airports is like my new hobby. I've always loved this as a kid, just venturing through an airport. I feel like there's nothing more exciting than that other than, you know, traveling to your destination, you know? Oh. Well, maybe arriving at your destination, that's obviously a good part. Looks like we have a slight delay by 10 minutes. And yes, I got early bird check-in. I'm like A26. Always do early bird if you're Southwest. Hey, you in there? Hey, oh my God, you got, wow, no one ever wants that. <laughs> I love the people in New Orleans. Shout out to all you guys. Y'all are, are amazing. <laughs> Southwest has some comfy seats. 10 out of 10. Well, 8 out of 10. We'll be a little piggy. Thank you. Nice, take care. Thanks. Congrats. Bye bye. Thank you. I'm starting to really love Southwest. The only drawback right now, currently for Southwest, 
is there's no like no first class and I, I want to be loyal to an airline that has a first class you know but Southwest is great honestly zero complaints zero complaints <laughs> I feel so cool being in an airport and having some Mardi Gras beads totally rad <laughs> welcome to Orlando tomorrow is Disney day the sound of travelers right where I left you missed you not really, I need a new car so bad. Well, everybody, um, that is gonna be it for your daily dose. I'm back here in my room. I'm exhausted to to say um, the least. I feel like I say I say the least a lot, but anyways, um, we'll, we will be back at Disney tomorrow. I'll be on some sleep. We're probably gonna go to the parks tomorrow at night. Just I got a lot of things to catch up on here, some work and whatnot. And most importantly, I need some rest. But thank you guys for uh, tuning in to these Mardi Gras videos. It's back to Disney and it's on to the next cruise. So thank you guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs>